I want to just briefly talk about circular regresses. Circular regress is the idea that if A causes B, and B causes C, and C causes D, and D causes E, and then E is caused by A, and A is caused by B, and B is caused by C, and you just keep going around in a circle. And it's sort of like a uh, food web or food circle, you know, like a, uh, you know, the food chain that, you know, people kind of see that picture just kind of going around and around. Well, that's fine, but when we talk about a circular regress, we're also talking about a regress of causes, not just that things are supporting each other in a circular fashion that you support me and I support you. And we have a, uh, you know, a mutually beneficial situation. Instead, what we're talking about is causes the, the very existence of the thing. And so if we go in and say like, what caused me to exist? Well, my parents and what caused my parents to exist? Well, their parents and what caused them? Great, great grandparents, great, 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 great grandparents. And eventually you go, well, what caused them to exist? You go, Oh, well, we just circle it back on and I cause them to exist. What? You cause them to exist? What do you mean you cause them to exist? Well, if that were the case, um, that, you know, if you caused yourself to exist, that um, in the circular format, the circular regressive format, then... The case is you would have to exist before you existed in order to cause yourself to exist, which is absurd. I mean, you have to exist before you exist in order to cause yourself to exist. Does that, that should on its face seem problematic, that something must exist before its own existence in order to eventually explain its own existence. And that is absurd, and that's why a circular regress is impossible.